Wiley's What's Up? So let's get it started. Uh, little known fact about me, I am a 9-11 survivor. I was in Ohio the whole time. But I did survive. I also survived Katrina, Columbine, and all the other school shootings. And I wasn't the shooter, I promise. A lot of people say that I look like a school shooter, and I don't really get it, you know? I mean, is it my eyes? Is it my smile? Or is it the AR-15 I have strapped to my back? I do not know. I've always struggled with eye contact, you know? Because you make eye contact with a girl, she thinks you want to fuck. Make eye contact with a guy, he thinks you want to fuck. <laughs> One time I made eye contact with a priest, and I think you all know how that went. <laughs> they say your childhood trauma may or may manifest itself into your sexual fetishes. My girlfriend almost drowned when she was a kid. So that explains that every time we fuck, I have to waterboard her. <laughs> it's pretty fun, you know? I act like I'm interrogating her. I'm like, tell the truth. She's like, no, never. I'm like, tell the truth. She's like, my ex was bigger. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> tell me lies. Tell me same lies. <laughs> I was shopping the other day. And uh, I saw a bar of soap that was beer scented. And right next to it was one that was gunpowder scented. So I bought both just in case I ever committed a drunken homicide. <laughs> that helped if I get pulled over. The officer's like, have you been drinking? I'm like, no, sir, it's the soap. He's like, what's with all the blood? And I'm like, I just skinned a deer. Uh, friend of mine. <laughs> My friend, uh, he said, Patrick, if your life depended on you, would you rather get knocked out and while you're asleep, someone takes out one of your organs? Or you get knocked out and while you're asleep, someone fucks you? And I chose to get fucked, which is basically the same thing as saying that life-saving surgery is not as bad as a night out with Bill Cosby. <laughs> I mean, they're both technically doctors. <laughs> and I'm sorry either way. But at least with Bill, I don't have to pay him back for the drugs. I might get a pudding pop that <laughs> A lot of people give uh, Joe Biden shit because he's old. And I think he's really resilient, you know? If you don't believe me, take this Nelson Mandela quote. Do not judge me by my success. Judge me by how many times I fell and got back up. <laughs> Joe Biden has fallen more times than a lot of So by that standard, he's very successful. <laughs> I saw an ad the other day for a screen printing business and it said, turn your pet into a pillow. And uh, I think they need to be a little more specific. Because I have a feeling they're receiving a lot of dead dogs. Yeah. I can imagine a lot of sad people like, Fluffy was my loyal companion and I cannot wait to cuddle him once again. <laughs> From memories to memory foam. I do it, I love my dog. People always like uh, when you bring a dog around in a little purse or a backpack. You know, they always go up to it and pat it on its head and say, you're so cute. But how come when I do the exact same thing with my paraplegic cousin, no one ever calls him cute. Yeah, they always act like I'm a dick, but he needs outside time too. All right, I got one more for you guys. Um, I was talking to a cop the other day, and he was saying that his pants were navy blue when they're in fact black. And I just find that pretty ironic. All of a sudden, the cop can't see the color black. <laughs> That'd come in handy at a traffic stop. He pulls over an unarmed black man, and he goes to shoot him, but then he realizes he's navy blue. <laughs> blue lives matter. <laughs>